Greetings from the Pentagon. I'm Vice Admiral Phil Cullum, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Fleet Readiness and Logistics, and I'd like to welcome you to the Print the Fleet Workshop. The fact that you're present in Damnick today suggests that you may already have some awareness of how powerful advanced manufacturing or 3D printing can be, and are looking for ways to make it applicable to the tough work you and your shipmates do every day. This past week, I had the opportunity to attend the White House's Maker Fair, an event that showcased the work of entrepreneurs and other forward thinkers from around the country who are embracing this technology. During the event, I met two teenagers, Camille and Genevieve Beatty, who started their own robotics company and converted their family garage into an advanced manufacturing workshop or a makerspace. How inspiring to see these young minds with such entrepreneurial vision. Maker fairs are not new, but there is a growing interest in the maker movement, people who have the drive to invent and the technical know-how to produce and build things. You need look no further than uh, commercials that are on TV uh, just started last week about the Chrysler 200 to see what Detroit is doing. New technologies such as 3D printers, laser cutters, and machine tools are now affordable and much simpler to use than past means of design and manufacture. The internet is allowing makers to collaborate, share designs and ideas, solve problems, and obtain resources through crowdfunding. Manufacturers today are already implementing these technologies and moving from basic prototyping to production of parts used in jet engines. Maker events are occurring all over the country and gaining interest fast. As a data point, over 100,000 people recently participated in a maker fair in Northern California. And not surprisingly, maker spaces, tech shops, and fabrication labs are also becoming more and more common, the, the hobby shops of the future. This Print the Fleet Workshop series is the Navy's first makers event. While we're very early in the game here, uh, this is an amazing opportunity for change. It's my strong belief that 3D printing and advanced manufacturing are breakthrough technologies for our maintenance and logistics functions in the future. We can gain new capabilities to make rapid repairs, print tools and parts where and when they are needed, and carry fewer spares and ultimately transform our maritime maintenance and logistics supply chain. We're currently developing an advanced manufacturing vision and strategy for the Navy to guide our efforts in developing and maturing these technologies. As costs for these technologies decrease and the ability to build new skill sets for using the technology rapidly advances, a wave of makers, innovators, and entrepreneurs will create a renaissance in American manufacturing, one that is more local, more homegrown, and more customizable. When you consider the cost and vulnerabilities of our existing Navy and logistics supply chains and the resource constraints we face, it quickly becomes clear that we have to re-image and reimagine how we do business. When advanced manufacturing and 3D printing becomes widely available, we envision a global network of advanced fabrication shops supported by sailors with the skill sets and training to identify problems and build and make products. In some ways, sailors with this ex expertise could be considered military MacGyvers that help us reduce costs and solve logistics problems on the fly. The logistics of the future will be more about delivering the right digital design file to the right printer in the right location to produce the right part, tool, or system at the right time. This can increase the speed of execution, improve readiness, decrease costs, and avoid shipping parts all around the world. This summer, NASA will launch a 3D printer to the International Space Station. Talk about an austere environment with high cost to resupply. NASA and the Navy share many goals and challenges along these lines, and the NASA effort will certainly help us to make progress in deploying fully functional, dependable 3D printers at sea. We spoke with them at the White House. Eventually, we'll be able to embed sensors, electronics, communication capabilities, and microprocessors in unmanned aerial vehicles printed from 3D printers by Navy makers in shipboard advanced manufacturing labs. Can you imagine being able to print a fully functioning UAV, download software, program the mission sets, and launch a warfighting capability. The challenge is to get started now. 
by taking an interest and getting involved, you'll be at the forefront of this American manufacturing renaissance. Think of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak building the first Apple computers in a garage in 1976. They are part of a long line of American makers. By getting involved, you'll learn new skills that may become core 21st century skill sets. In the future, 3D printer training may become part of rate training. There's now a growing emphasis on STEM subjects, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, in schools ranging from elementary school through secondary, university, and other types of schooling, and advanced manufacturing or 3D printing must become integrated into the academic mindset. Long before we see these types of systems in every office, there may be 3D printer, advanced manufacturing hobby shops on bases that allow enterprising sailors to get their feet wet. 3D printing will take time to evolve, but it is clearly a quantum leap technology. It's simple, cheap, and more convenient to use than other manufacturing methods. Today we can print prosthetics, tools, and basic parts. Tomorrow we'll be able to print aircraft wings entire jet engines, and skin tissue. And in the not too distant future, we'll be able to print entire aircraft, robots, UAVs, and food. When we can manufacture railgun rounds, supply parts, and food, we have truly revolutionized the Navy and our logistics. I welcome you to our first Makers event. You are the Navy's 3D printing plank owners. In addition to the technical lessons learned, and vital interaction among those here, I see these events as a means to get the word out and start building Navy maker spaces. This is an exciting time to be part of the Navy. And in the wake of the White House Maker Fair kicked off by our very own Commander in Chief, I look forward to hearing about how our sailor makers are making a difference, solving problems, learning, building, and producing. Thank you for being here.